What's going on, my good people? Mike Hidalgo here. Thank you for joining us on another FCP Euro DIY. Today, we're going to be working on a 2003 BMW E46 M3. Today on the M3 behind me, we're going to be covering how to do an oil change. We're going to be using a Liquid Molly 10W60 kit that comes with six liters of oil, a new Mala filter, as well as the O-ring and crush washers needed for this job. In addition to that, we're going to go ahead and pair it with a little bit of MOS2, which will keep our engine healthy and protect our rod bearings a little bit longer. We recommend that you do this service every 5,000 miles, and with our lifetime replacement guarantee backing this oil up, it makes that life a little bit easier. And now for tools. For this DIY, we're going to need a torque wrench. We're using a 3-8 drive torque wrench today, a 3-8 drive ratchet, a small extension, a pick tool, a 13 millimeter socket, and a 6 millimeter hex. Now we know what tools we're working with, let's go ahead and get started on this DIY. Alright my good people, to get started on our oil change first, we're going to go ahead and let the whole system breathe a little bit. By that, what I mean is we're going to remove our oil fill cap and we're going to crack open our oil filter housing. So, let's get started with that. We're going to go ahead and remove our cap, set that to the side. If you're worried about something falling in or you're working outside, you can leave the cap placed over it, maybe like that. However, we're in a closed environment today. It's not going to be an issue for us. With that done, our next step is going to be to disconnect our throttle position sensor up front so that we can have a better access to our oil filter. To do that, you're just going to press on this metal tab and pull away. Just set that to the side. From there, to crack this open, we're going to go ahead and grab a 13 millimeter socket and break that free. We're not going to pull it off just yet, but we're going to get ready just so that I can breathe. And in addition to that, we'll shove a couple shop towels around everything in case we get a little bit of spillage. Again, 13 millimeter socket, just break that free. And we can remove the center here. And that will allow everything to breathe out from that end. With that all taken care of, now we can get under the M3 and work on draining our oil. All right, my good people, to get started, you're going to want to remove a plastic protective cover that usually sits in this skid plate here. This car is missing it, but usually they just clip out. You th three tabs hold it into place. Once you do that, you have access to your drain plug. You're going to need a six millimeter hex to remove that using a six millimeter on an extension. Make sure you sit, situate it all the way into the socket. All right, we have our sample, just like we mentioned at the beginning of the video. We're gonna go ahead and get this tested, see what kind of health our 170,000 mile S54 is in. We'll catch you in a couple days once this is done draining, and then we'll go ahead and continue on with the DIY. All right, my good people, at this point, the majority of our oil has drained. We're gonna go ahead and install our drain plug once more. We have our new crush washer on our drain plug. Wipe down the area a little bit. Again, that's a six millimeter hex. Now we're gonna go ahead and torque it down to 24 Newton meters or 18 foot pounds. With that situated, let's get the car back on the ground and then we'll head back up top and work on changing out our filter and then filling it up with some fresh oil. All right, my good people, back up top of the M3, we're gonna go ahead and continue on this oil change, starting by removing our oil filter housing cap and we have an O-ring in there to replace, as well as our filter, so let's get to it. Once you lift up the cap, you're gonna see we have an O-ring to replace. You can use that pick I mentioned at the beginning or a small flathead screwdriver. Grab your new one. And then before you reinstall this, you can prime it with a little bit of oil. You can always use what's sitting in the cap just to sec ensure a secure seal. Set that to the side. Now we can go ahead and pull out our old oil filter. And then I like to use the shop towels that I set as insurance here, just to clean the inside of the oil filter housing a bit. From there, we can take our new filter and install it. I like installing the Mala writing up. There's really no rhyme or reason to that. It's just, I think it looks better when you take off the lid, you can see what was in there last. Once you have your filter in place, it's a good idea to pre-fill it a bit so that the system doesn't start up dry. Once you have that situated, we have our lid, our oil filter housing lid with the new seal already, primed ready to go. 
And then on your oil filter housing bolt, you want to make sure you remove the old crush washer. As well as the small sealing o-ring at the bottom. Again, I'm just going to use that same pick. We're going to take our new crush washer and just feed it on. And then we'll take our own new, new o-ring and get that situated. Beautiful. Now we can go ahead and reinstall this. You want to make sure you can start it by hand. Once you've snugged it up by hand, you can go ahead and torque it down. Grabbing our 13 millimeter socket on our torque wrench, we're going to torque this down to 32 newton meters or 24 foot pounds. Now that we have that situated, we can go ahead and grab your funnel of choice. We're going to use our European no spill CTA funnel. We forgot to mention that at the beginning, but that locks into the valve cover, which is nice and convenient. So let's go ahead and get situated with that. All right, take our CTA no spill funnel. You can see it looks exactly like the oil fill cap. Go ahead and place that on there. Lock it into place. And we'll start with our five liter jug. Don't forget the five liter jugs also have a sticker that you can put your mileage interval on, your date, however you like to classify it or log it. Stick that on your windshield. I like to add my liquid moly additives in between my fill up. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. And then from here, I'm going to add just about in total, counting for what we put in the oil filter housing, half a liter of our one liter jug. And from there, we'll run the car and make sure that our level is good. I'll show you on the dipstick where exactly you want to make sure that level ends up. And then if you need to, you can top off as necessary. On the S54 dipstick, you have your center section, your bottom, and your top. Your bottom line is going to represent your five liter mark. Your top is going to represent six. So you want this to be anywhere between the middle of the two, usually right dead in the middle, or in between six and the middle is usually good. The capacity on this engine is 5.8 liters. So as long as you're within this mark, you'll be safe. Now that we have our oil filled and our oil filter situated. We have one last thing to install with, if you remember from the beginning, which is the cable for our throttle position sensor. Simply pull it back down and click it into place. With that all done, now let's head inside the M3 and actually reset our service interval. That way we have everything squared away. So I'll catch you inside in just a moment. All right, my good people, to reset the oil service interval on the E46, we're going to go ahead Take our finger and press down the left cluster button. Take your key, put it into position one. We're gonna hold that down until we see the reset option come up on the top left of our screen. Let go, hold it down one more time. And now that it's flashing, we simply let go and click once. And our service interval has been reset ready for another 5,000 miles. If you like this video, my good people, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments on what we did today, leave them in the comment box below. And if you like this DIY and you want to see more like them, please consider subscribing. We make new ones all the time. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.